Welcome to the New York State Online Services Tax Preparer Registration Demonstration. To register or renew your registration as a tax preparer or facilitator, log into your individual New York State Online Services account. You can't use a business or tax professional account to register or renew your registration. You must have an individual online services account. If you haven't created an individual online services account, visit the online services section of our website to learn how. Select Services located in the upper left of your account summary page. From the drop down menu, select Tax Preparer Registration. Then select Register as a Tax Preparer or Facilitator. This will bring you to the Registration and Continuing Education for Tax Return Preparers page. Commercial tax return preparers must complete continuing education coursework. In the section headed Continuing Education Requirements, select the Continuing Education Requirements for Tax Return Preparers link for more information. In the section headed Register as a Tax Return Preparer or Facilitator, select Register to begin your registration. On the Tax Preparer and Facilitator name page, you'll be given a chance to verify your name as it will appear on your approved registration certificate. Your name will be shown in the section headed Tax Preparer and Facilitator Name. In the section headed Verify Name, select Yes if your name is displayed correctly. If your name is incorrect, select No for instructions to update your account. When finished, select Continue. This will bring you to the General Obligations Law Certification page. Read the statements regarding the General Obligations Law and affirm your understanding of each. When finished, select Continue. The Child Support Compliance page will ask you to certify your compliance with any child support obligations you have. In the section headed Child Support Compliance Certification, carefully read the statements regarding child support compliance and select the appropriate response. When finished, select Continue. This will bring you to the Eligibility Requirements page. In the section headed Federal, State, and Local Tax Filing Requirements, affirm your compliance with federal, state, and local tax filing obligations. To learn more about specific fields or questions, select the question mark icon beside it. Next, in the section headed Convictions and Sanctions, indicate if you've been previously convicted of a crime or sanctioned. If you indicate you have been previously convicted of a crime or sanctioned, you'll be asked additional certification questions. Carefully read the statements and answer yes or no for each. When finished, select Continue. If you indicated you were not in compliance with federal, state, or local tax filing obligations, have been previously convicted of a crime or sanctioned, you'll be brought to the additional information page. Provide the requested details about your non-filing, conviction, or sanction in the appropriate section. When finished, select Continue. Next, you'll be provided with a short questionnaire. Answer all questions in the Questionnaire Information section. When finished, select Continue. This will bring you to the Tax Preparer Registration Fee page. In the section headed Registration Fee, read the information about who is required to pay the registration fee and answer the questions. When finished, select Continue. On the Applicant Information page, you'll be asked to provide contact and employment information. In the section headed Applicant Details, Provide your social security number, date of birth, and contact information.
Next, in the section headed Applicant Employment, answer the questions about your employment status. When you are ready to proceed, select Continue. On the Applicant Address Information page, verify that your home and mailing addresses are correct. In the section headed Applicant Home Address, update any information that has changed. Be sure to use the address where you regularly receive mail. The department will use this address to communicate important information to you throughout the year. When finished, select Continue. This will bring you to the Employer Information page. In the section headed Employer Details, provide your employer's ID number and contact information. If you're self-employed, use your business's information. Next, in the section headed Employer Address, provide your employer's address. Your business name and location will appear on the publicly available New York State Registered Tax Return Preparers and Facilitators Database, data.ny.gov. Be sure to include a business address to ensure your clients will be able to locate your business. When finished, select Continue. On the Education and Return Preparation Information page, you'll be asked for professional identification numbers, your education, and the services you provide. In the section headed Professional ID Numbers, provide your PTIN if you are registered as a tax preparer with the Internal Revenue Service. If you are an authorized e-file participant with the Internal Revenue Service, Provide your EFIN. In the section headed Education Details, provide details about your education and training. In the section headed Return Preparation Details, indicate what types of tax returns you will prepare. When you're ready to proceed, select Continue. If you are required to pay the registration fee, you'll be brought to the Pay from Bank Account page where you can make a direct debit payment from a checking or savings account. To make a payment, enter your bank routing number. The bank name should populate automatically. Next, enter and confirm your bank account number. Select the account type from the drop-down menu and enter the name of the account holder. When you are ready to review your registration, select Continue. This will bring you to the Review and Verify page. To review your registration information, select View. To make changes, select Edit. If no changes are needed, review the e-signature section and select Submit. On the Transaction Confirmation page, you'll receive a confirmation number to show that your registration has been received. You should print this confirmation page for your records by selecting Print. To print or save a copy of your registration application, select View Print Form. If your registration is approved, you can print your registration certificate by selecting Print Certificate and Form. You can also reprint your certificate later. If your registration requires further review, you will receive instructions on how to print your registration certificate when your application is approved. It may take up to 30 days for us to complete our review. Close the Browser tab to return to your account summary. This completes our demonstration. If you have questions, please visit our website for further information. Thank you for your interest in New York State Online Services.